am I gonna do? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. <laughs> Did you just fart? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode number twenty nine of the Hold On to Your Butts podcast. Today on the show, we have our initial reaction to Super Mario Odyssey. Uh, <laughs> we talk through some of our uh, hopes and dreams for the other games that came out on the twenty uh, seventh. Uh, we uh, we talk about Thor. Uh, Thor is coming out soon. Oh man, I'm getting short on time. Uh, what else are we talk about? Our favorite ghosts. We talk about our favorite ghosts. All of that and more on today's. Oh, no, that'd be eighty five. <laughs> 37. Yeah, hold on to your butts. <laughs> what? Hold on to your butt. So, is there a stage of life that's depressing right before now. middle age? Like your 20s. Pre middle age? No, no, no. Is it your 20s? Your fun life. Like the 30s. Your 30s aren't really like. Are you middle aged at 30, really? Is that, what, is that what's considered middle aged? I don't know. Phil Vassar says the best days of your life are your 30s. I hope He's that's true. Singer. We're all kind of closing in I, on 30s. I don't believe Speaking that. Speaking of closing <laughs> in on 30s, the Hold On To Your Butts podcast is at episode number 29. That's what you're listening to. That's where. That's why you've, you've t- tuned in today. For the number 29? <laughs> for number 29. <laughs> Guys, I can't wait for number 29. Fan. Oh, this is sort of my golden episode. I am 29 years old. Yep. Oh. Okay. And okay. this is our 29th episode. Be- Buddy and I are 25, so I don't wonder what You're 29. In fact. <laughs> this is also yours. And Buddy, you're a little child. You're a little uh, baby. You're a little, you're a little, you're a little, uh, you're a little baby boy. What the hell what are you? I'm you're 25. You're 25. Are you 25 years old? Yeah. I assumed you were older than that. Nope. Is that a good thing? Hey, I assumed he was from New York, so we all yeah, don't know you, shit no, about Buddy. Do you guys even know me? Like, where'd you <laughs> find me? Can we, can we break that down for a second? Yeah. Um, so... Well, no, there's really nothing to break down. I thought you were older He's than you He's 25. Actually are. There's nothing to I, break down. I get that a lot, though, actually. At work, too, people are surprised. So, what, what year does that put you born in? Like, we're. 91. 91, okay. And what's your social security number? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, so 91. Now, yeah. I was 88. You were 88, right, Wyatt? Yeah. Okay, by the way, uh, I'll get to introductions here in a second. <laughs> but, uh,. So you were born, and now does that still make you, you're a millennial? We're all millennials. Technically we're all millennials. Yeah. What's the cutoff for millennial? Uh, oh, it's it, like mid-80s, isn't it? It's the 80s. It's like 82, 84. I, I hate that what? term, by the way. Can you, Why? Can you, can you fact check it? Can you look up like what the age no, range if, of if millennials are? If you look are? it up, if you, I've looked it up. It's, it range, it's like different every time, everything you look at. It's yeah. not like, it's not like an official like. It's Webster's b- Dictionary. They kind of look like at like who they say are messing things up right now in that range of ages, <laughs> and then they call those people millennials. Is basically how it goes. Like, how I never believe many, in millennials. Like how many um, like generations are alive right now? And that's sort of a loaded question, but I mean, like, uh, so we're millennials. So what's after us? It's Generation X, isn't it? No, that was before or, or, us. I'm sorry, before us. Yeah, I thought you said before. So what's after us? After us is the. Don't they call them the Snowflake Generation? Isn't that what they're called? What? Yeah, I think they're called the Snowflake Generation. What does the Snowflake have to do with it? Because like they all think they're super special and like. But different. I think people say that about us. I think so. There's a real mm. bad rap to millennials. A real yeah. bad rap. Oh, look, I, you know, we look it up. We fact check that. In the meantime, welcome to the Hold On to Your Butts podcast. I'm your host Brogan, joined as always by Wyatt and Buddy. No Evie in the studio this week. We don't have any Evies. <laughs> Again, uh, those are our external variables that we uh, lovingly refer to as guests, uh, and that's because we got a lot to talk about today. We've got a shit ton to talk about today, and by a shit ton, I mean really just talking about Super Mario, um, and we're going to talk about Super, uh, Super Mario. Super what? I just like wanted it. to see how long I could get. I got it. it. I heard it. I, I heard it like, immediately. I was just I'm Mario. I was a I, I, it's I, a me, I'm Mario. I have heard a lot of people call it Mario recently, so I've been spending a lot of time in New York. Okay. Yes. <laughs> And oh, a lot Our of people call friend. it, hey, a uh, Super Mario. <laughs> There's a new Super Mario out. You play this new Super Mario? I'm saying that like I'm just walking down the street. There's like construction workers <laughs> that are talking about this. Oh, hey, right. check out that nice looking broad over there. By the way, have you played the new Super Mario? <laughs> <laughs> They're called uh, Generation Z Boomlets. Boomlets? Oh, it's, yeah, right? I hate it. Oh, so yeah, the, we're the, the spawn of the baby boomers. And so they're like the grandkids of the baby boomers. Yeah, they're the boomlets. Okay. And above the baby boomers are the mature in the silence. <laughs> the silence? Yeah. Who it's a Doctor Who character. That sounds bullshit. like a horror movie. Oh, I don't know. Bullshit. What? It's a marketing website, you know. Marketing. Yeah. Who who are the people that decide the name for this? Or like, how did the millennials catch on? Was that like a marketing ploy by? Probably. Yeah. They're like, how can we cater towards? 
millennials. Now when you say millennials, I guess you know who you are. Ay, 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 guys. I'm trying to, I want to work on a couple catchphrases that I use just specifically on the, like, like, do you, like, ay, 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 like, I can kind of sort of, like, bring that in from alpha. Like, when you guys say something, I'll kind of be like, ay, 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 and then, like, then everyone else, like, you know. You're going with that. <laughs> You're going with Alpha 5's catchphrase? Like all know. the catchphrases. It's What's alpha a better five? catchphrase? I can't think of anything. Uh-huh. About. Yeah, you can't <laughs> because Alpha 5's catchphrase is the fucking best catchphrase. That's why. Um, before we move on uh, to the meat of the show, I do, I do just want to say something, okay? We typically, we don't talk about sports on this show. We're not a sports show. We have talked about sports in the past. Um... I don't want to lose listeners before I say this, but this is a Columbus, Ohio based podcast. And I do just want to say one thing real quick, and that's it. Go Bucks. Mm. What a game on Saturday. I cannot believe that Ohio State pulled out that win against Penn State by one point. Penn State put up a good fight. I know everyone hates Ohio State. Uh, Russia, by the way, football is a sport that <laughs> <laughs> displayed between two teams, our two listeners in Russia. Anyways, that's all I want to say. Uh, great win. Before we get on our topics, I got something that actually would be really exciting for Buddy. It's not really oh, that exciting. I love it. What? Yesterday. Okay. You got to do a better build up. You build it up. Oh, no, and I'm already you excited. It. No, no, no. it doesn't take much no, to be excited. Me, this, is ex- like this is insane. Yeah, like, <laughs> I go outside to smoke with my roommate. <laughs> we're chit chatting. We're talking about uh, the BCS standings and everything. Mm-hmm. And I turn around and our ashtray is missing. No. Oh, God. No, they're back. No. Well, I thought they got evicted. So, at first, I was like... revenge stealing. Wait, wait, for those of you who might just be tuning in for the first time, Wyatt had, and what we were affectionately calling the Ash Dasher, somebody would steal their ash tray, sprinkle the ashes around the neighborhood, and then throw the tray away. So, in a sting operation, they finally installed a camera, hung this guy down, they were going to get evicted because they had been caught for doing other things. Yeah. So, we, now, spoke, we spoke to uh, maintenance today. Those They were evicted. They're gone. Yeah, okay. Or and so unfortunately, we took our we didn't take it down, but we had our camera system off because we didn't feel like we needed it, and so we don't actually. So we're sending it, resending it back up. I don't know if this is son of the Ash Dasher or, <laughs> or a copy <laughs> cat. This, this is copycat. chapter two, okay, guys. This so, really sounds like a Hardy Boys sequel. novel. Too. Yeah, this is the sequel. So because uh, we turn around, we we're like, what the fuck? We thought they got evicted. We did confirm they did. They're gone. They're out of the neighborhood. So yeah. whoever's doing this is a copycat. Or he didn't move very far. What a or... stupid crime to copycat. <laughs> like, I want to copycat some kind it's... of, like... Uh, Isn't that crazy? It's, like, it's probably... It's, it's Son of the Ash Dash. Did you check? Did you guys stop recording? Did you check the We tape? didn't. We didn't. We turned our... You we thought we you were safe. cameras off. You thought off. you were safe. Because, I mean, we don't... I mean, they were running 24-7. We don't need the power on. And so if we just turn them off, so we're like, well, we'll save electricity that way. Now we got to turn those fuckers back on. Damn. So, more to come on Son of the Ash Dasher. The sequel is the upon sequel us. The sequel is here. Oh, okay, awesome. Good. Who's, like, yeah. compelled to do that? I feel bad <laughs> I, I honestly cannot picture a person who's like, man, I got... No, they were smoking them? Did we decide? Yeah, they were smoking them. Oh, smoking, boy. like, the leftovers. Oh, boy. Like, you know I... how packaging has those, like, cardboard tearaway strips sometimes? I feel bad, like, when I don't recycle the little tearaway piece that I yeah. put off. you feel like, bad for everything. I... You're <laughs> not a criminal. You were so the you're worst saying criminal. that you agree with them because they're reusing and recycling. Buddy, what was the worst crime you've committed? Stealing ashtrays. I got a theory. <laughs> oh, my God. It's not me. Buddy this is one... the fucking ash He's dasher. The no. son of the ash dasher. You'll never catch me alive. <laughs> Guys, it's time to get into uh, the news at hand. There's a lot to cover. Um, you know, we are past the eve and the day uh, of uh, the 27th where a lot of great fucking things came out at the same time. It sounds like we've all gotten some um, experience with some of those things. There's still some stuff that I want to play from that day that I haven't gotten a chance to do yet. Namely, Wolfenstein. Like, I feel really bad that I haven't played that yet. Um, but I did just pre-order the xbox one x uh and i will be uh playing wolfenstein on that in in ultra 4k now here's the thing let me tell you what i did about this now ask me what i spent on the xbox one x somebody asked me what i spent i don't remember what it was it was 4.99 500 retail someone asked me what i spent brogan what'd you spend (laughs) brogan what'd you spend i spent 50 dollars on the Xbox One X. Who's a big bargain hunter? No, it was because <laughs> it was because of GameStop. Now what? I want to say something. I want to plug GameStop, sponsor oh, of the God. show. <laughs> I want to say something about GameStop. It's sort of I think we've talked about this in the past on the show, but like the video game brick and mortar store has sort of gone by the wayside, right? Like the the days of going into a GameStop and hanging out and talking with the 
you know, the people that work there and like, you know, bargain hunting for some good used games that you never got to play or even games that you've never heard of um, is sort of dead, right? Or it's sort of passed. Mm-hmm. Um, but what I was able to do was trade in my Xbox One S. They had a deal going on that anything you trade in toward an Xbox One X, you get 40% bonus trading credit. So I had a bunch of old games that I wasn't playing, you know, some games that I had bought off of Amazon or whatever, like the hard copy games, which I'm buying less and less of, but I still had a few. Traded those in for 40% extra credit. Traded in Xbox controllers because, like, I never play multiplayer on Xbox anymore. It's my single-player machine. So I traded in all my extra controllers, got 40% extra trading credit for that. And so all this stuff started stockpiling, and then the dude was like, hey, you should sign up for the Game Up Power Up Rewards thing or whatever, where you get, like, 20% extra trading credit on everything. I was like, how much does it cost? He's like, $25. But then he was like, but... If you do that and trade in all this stuff, you're going to end up getting more back from that than you're spending on it. So, like, I ended up getting, like, an additional $20 from that, like, negating the $26 that I spent to get it, right? So I spent $6 on it. I get it. I got the math. (laughs) (laughs) Damn it! I just got the math. Anyways, I spent $50 Plus all that stuff. I don't need that stuff. I'm not using that (laughs) stuff. Now, here's the problem. Here's the problem. Like... The well is running dry on that stuff. <laughs> like, in the future, I'm going to have to pay, pay full price for yeah. a console again. Because you traded all your Wii U stuff for the Switch, right? But that was so worth it. God, that was so worth it. I would do that again a hundred times. I don't know. Maybe I'm a hoarder or something, but I like to keep them, even though, like, it's, you know. But why do you want to keep that stuff? Like, when are you going to revisit it? Like, Actually, I go back and play sometimes. Yeah, I, I mean, if sometimes I go. I would say nowadays, no. Um, I just like to have a library. It's no different than like buying your books and keeping it on a bookshelf. Yeah, you might not read that book again. You might not even lend it. Yeah. But I don't know. I just like, I have a bookshelf that's just two of those shelves are just games all the way back to GameCube. Yeah. Um, and I don't have a GameCube. That's cool. So, uh, you know, I could turn them in, but. It's like, a modern day bookcase. I mean, yeah, for the most part. That's right? what I'm doing. And that's why I don't download games rather than I always buy the physical copy because mm-hmm. if you download that game, you can't return it. That's true. You know, you can't. Right. That's you can't, true. Or if something happens to the system and they yeah. discontinue and I've, support. And I've been gone. burned on that. I got burned on that with fucking No Man's Sky. I was so pumped about No Man's Sky that I wanted to doubt. Like, it was a game to me that sounded like, I'm not going to play this all the time, but I might, like, play one thing Everyone's and then want to pop right into it, you know, whatever, and be lazy and knock it off my couch and play it again. But then got fucking burned on it. $60, what do you do? I mean, mm-hmm. you can't trade it in. You can't do anything with it. Yeah, yeah. That's why um, I don't like to download it unless I'm just in a, unless I'm just in, like, hey, I know I'm never going to touch this thing again. Yeah. I'm sure. I just like not having clutter. I like having, like, everything together. And as long as I am, like, a subscriber to PlayStation Plus, and I, th- I think it's even beyond that. I don't think you have to be a subscriber to PlayStation Plus or Xbox Live to, like, access those titles in the mm-hmm. future. So it's like, you know, having, like, all of my stuff, like, in an event where, like, the house burned down, God forbid, or whatever, and everything gets destroyed, like, at least I still have everything living in the cloud. I'm sort of a believer and subscriber to the cloud. But you're right, the inherent downfall is I can't trade shit in. Mm-hmm. Um, but I'm excited for the Xbox One X. I have a 4K OLED TV, and I would be classified as an early adopter, I think is probably... How much did you spend, Brogan? Oh, I spent $50, buddy. Thank you for asking. <laughs> um... <laughs> So I'm looking forward to it. I'm gonna I'm gonna wait to play like Wolfenstein on that. That's a really long tail. I was <laughs> like, wondering if you were like you went down on the GameStop guys, and that's why I was like, wow. Yeah, no, yeah. That's how you got so, it. You what, couldn't get it for free. Yeah. You still had to pay fifty dollars. I pressed their right bumpers. <laughs> I don't even like it. Uh, Any what what's the premise of Wolfenstein? Because I've heard people are excited for that, but I don't really know too much about it. Yeah, so think. Uh, I think we talked about it on the show a little bit last week with uh, with Gus. Uh, R.I.P. Oh, okay. He's dead. Gus is that. dead. <laughs> Just, uh, it's so sad. He was on the. Show show for one time but that was it hopefully we can revive him and bring him back in, the, in a future show mm-hmm. um but we talked about, so it's essentially like a tarantino movie really um and you know what i would even go as far as to say that it is half-life 3 people have been clamp like mm-hmm. clamoring for half-life uh fans of half-life have always wanted like to revisit the series and like reignite the series but uh bethesda has taken sort of like the guts of that and um, placed it right in the middle of, like, a war-torn Nazi Germany. Um, But this one takes place in the 70s, so it's like if, you know, the Nazis had won the war and there was an uprising slowly forming to, like, topple the Nazi regime in the 70s, you play a key part in doing that, essentially. You play a character named B.J. Blaskowitz, 
Uh, wow. Yeah, pretty. <laughs> I wish my parents would have named me that. BJ Blaskowitz, it's last name, your last name. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, so and it's it's really cool. It's single player only, to my knowledge, and super challenging. It's a really hard game. Like, it's a very difficult game. I didn't beat the first one. I played probably 75% of it, got stuck at something.